my little time tells yo come here sit down shut the door because we gotta talk baby why are the kardashians still hating on chloe and this time it's just getting downright gr- middle schoolish grade schoolish literally talking trash about her wedding dress and how tacky she looked on her wedding day now first of all we are going to have a talk about how who looked too tacky on their wedding day but also can we just debunk some rumors yesterday i posted a video about how the kardashians are at civil war i said listen the sisters didn't post any pictures with courtney i think it's weird blah 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 blah, blah. now again i asked y'all think it's a reach but y'all think it's a hit right a lot of people said, oh my God, you reach in. The bride didn't want any po- uh, any pictures posted. That's just what they do. They're selling pictures. You guys, just as a favor to you, because again, it's my job to follow the gossip and be messy so you don't have to. Keep your brain power for your job, for your life, and for everything else. I'll come with the nonsense. You guys, I've literally gathered evidence that that is not the case at all all it is not the case at all are y'all ready for this i'm gonna give y'all the evidence and then we're gonna go into how the kardashians are still trying to hate on courtney i'm telling you there is something off with that name courtney with that family courtney is literally dissing herself and i have a theory on why it's happening but i'll tell you guys later first let's get into the debunking that courtney was the one that didn't want pictures released and they're selling the pictures okay now first of all the selling the pictures thing that is impossible because if they were actually selling the pictures to a big publication, Courtney wouldn't have released them all over her Instagram. And she wouldn't have given everybody permission to live stream her wedding. She took pictures with everybody that acts at the reception and she knew she was on Instagram live and being live streamed on TikTok. Now, I have a thing that that really, 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 really annoyed the Kardashians because they were probably trying uh planning on selling the photos especially after they let it leak leak that dulce and gabbana were the ones that sponsor courtney's wedding i know i know i know they're so problematic but let's talk about that on a different video let's just be happy for court today because chris jenner is the one that worked that out now let's get into this exhibit a right this is from courtney kardashian's live stream okay Courtney literally posted a picture of herself from her fan page saying, here comes the bride. If Courtney was planning on selling these pics, she would not be reposting. Dulce and Gabbana also posted her. Ooh, I love Courtney's look. Also reposted her on their page. Courtney reposted that, right? Here is one of her good friends from childhood that she proudly took a picture with and the girl posted it and Courtney reposted it again. Court don't got no problem with anybody posting the pictures. They cannot be sold because they're being thing. But she took a picture with everybody that asked, right? Now, here's Courtney reposting fan pics. Oh, I love this. I would have that frame. That's a cute look. Also, for those of y'all actually that said, I don't understand Courtney's style. It's so this and that. She has no personality. Let me tell y'all something. Courtney is what, 45? She is from Southern California. A lot of people said, oh my God, what is this? Now she wants to be like a rock star's girlfriend. Now that, let me tell y'all something. Courtney grew up on Gwen Stefani and no doubt, and I get it. It's a, it's a Southern California aesthetic that women of a certain age like. The girlies that get it, get it. The girlies that don't, don't. But let me explain something to people in America. That's all I can speak. Actually, I can't even speak on all America. In Southern California, your wedding is your dream. You could be a, a, a tight knit. Your wedding is not an extension of your personal style, your, your day-to-day style. Your wedding is your dream. Your wedding is your fantasy. If I have fireflies and fairies flying around my wedding, that doesn't mean that I dress in like medieval cosplay. It means that I was always, I dreamed of having a Lord of the Rings themed wedding. Courtney grew up in the No Doubt era. This is Southern California aesthetic. It don't got nothing to do with Travis Barker. It don't have nothing to do with the style. I mean, of course, I think that's why she was so attracted to Travis. I think she liked his style. That little ska, punk, skater boy, rock god look, right? I mean, I'm into it, right? I think she was attracted to a style, but her wedding, for people that know, people around Courtney's age that grew up in Southern California, is a dream wedding of that aesthetic. And again, 
when you have a wedding, I don't know how they do it overseas, but when you have a wedding in America, it's your fantasy. You could be somebody that dresses like a tomboy and you want to come out because your fantasy was to come out looking like a pink cupcake mixed with a tulip. Girl, do it. It's your wedding. Anyway, I love Courtney's wedding. Please. I love it. I love it. I love it. I I love it. Anyway, let's get my... So Courtney actually reposted her wedding pictures. Here is an actual uh, picture. Unretouched. Again, you can't be selling it. But you guys, there is more. Now let's get into Kylie's Instagram, right? This is her Instagram live. None of the sisters put any of Courtney's wedding pictures on their main feed, not even her own mother. But let's look at Instagram live, right? Because again, my point is, why are there no pictures with the bride, right? None of them. Look at this. They got more pictures of the scenery. Hold on, let me turn this uh, before I get demonetized. They got more pictures of the scenery than any, and the food, than they have of their own sister. Here we got more Kylie. Here's Courtney flossing. I'm sorry, here's, why do I keep confusing them? Here's Chloe flossing. More scenery. Where's the picture of you with the bride? Where's just you walking up to Courtney and giving her a kiss on the cheek? Where's even acknowledging that your sister, we even get Kris Jenner. Kris Jenner first did an homage to, this is Kim's, nothing but the scenery, the tablecloth. The one thing she put on her live was uh, Courtney and Travis in their first dance. Yes, she did do that, but she did it sideways. So we can't even appreciate it. Don't tell me that wasn't shade. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. You didn't even put any effort in into rotating it. You literally, girl, stop, right? Again, Kim put plenty of pictures of herself, right? Where is any pictures with the bride? Kim showed her little two-piece. I don't even know what Kim was thinking with that one. Trying to steal the show and baby, you were dead wrong. Now, listen, right here, we have Alabama. The only thing, good tributes we have to the bride and Instagram lives with the bride, Kissing the bride, being next to the bride is through Travis's friends, families, and loved ones. They were the ones that stayed for the whole reception. They were there. Now, I do have a theory that one of the reasons they didn't have pictures with the bride is because they all left the reception early. They didn't even stay even halfway through. They got their photo ops, they did whatever, and then they rolled out, leaving Courtney to, to party with her new family. Now, I do want to point out that Kris Jenner actually did eventually post a picture of Courtney in her wedding dress, right? But these were all reposts from Courtney's page and even her mom didn't have one picture or post one Instagram live, literally, there's Alabama, literally next to the bride, next to her sister, next to her daughter. Y'all, okay, place closed. Now let's get into these hateration accusations because they literally literally said right and this is ridiculous but we gotta do it because you know i live for ridiculousness how courtney kardashian really feels about fans slamming her dulce and gabbana wedding dress saying it was tacky and tasteless i think this is coming straight from kim kardashian's mouth because it sounds just like kim courtney kardashian has told family and friends she's upset about fans slamming her custom dulce and gabbana wedding dress as tacky as tasteless she told family and friends who's the family because courtney ain't messing with her family right now now get this they're claiming the mom of three apparently fell in love with the short corseted lace wedding dress when she first tried it on but then hated the way it looked on camera now get this right they say courtney also felt the wedding became too chaotic when she actually envisioned now i do believe this a much more private affair the wedding was totally chaotic it was supposed to be private but lots of uninvited people showed up they weren't expected so so many people to bring plus ones and even twos they felt like they had to let everyone in they were in a foreign country and didn't know what else to expect okay i don't believe that for a second literally people have to rsvp when people RSVP, RSVP, right? That's how they know how many places to have. Everybody had a place to see, sit. Everybody had food. There's no way you weren't expecting those people because you cannot tell me that you had, you had all these empty seats just sitting around. Shut up. This is the Kardashians literally throwing shade on Courtney and basically calling her wedding a chaotic, dumb 
tacky mess that sounds just like Kim. Kim, why she's sitting there talking trash with her Marilyn Monroe dress with a shoestring in the back trying to hold the zipper shut. Anyway, right? However, despite the chaos and dress drama, the ceremony was sweet and beautiful. You guys, that sounds so much like Kim hating. The vows were beautiful. They broke their own and people loved that. The most important part, they're so happy to get together and nothing else really matters. Now get this, I think that's the family talking. However, this is where Courtney's people are like, shut up. However, another informant close to Courtney denied claims she's upset about her choice of wedding dress, saying she hasn't even looked at the comments as she's enjoying the moment. She loved her dress and that's all that matters. You guys, listen, they reached out to Courtney for comment. There were all these Kardashian people saying, oh my God, Courtney was mad that she looked tacky and tasteless. Kim, shut up. You are not with Kanye anymore. You're the tacky one. You're the tasteless one. And actually, you're the one that's crashing companies. Yeah, that video is coming. Anyway, my little title tiles, let me know what you think in the comments. But yeah, this Kardashian reign just won't let up. I said it once and I'll say it again. There's something going on with that family and they're not done yet. They are not done yet. But I am glad that Courtney actually, her people actually responded and said, Courtney is in a love bubble. She don't care what y'all think. All right, my little title tells. I will talk to you later. Bye.